Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3. Last time we made it here to the Underworld after our preparations, got Dion on our team and started to explore these weird looking mushrooms, so let's keep looking and see what else they what else they got. Hey, okay, alright, we got another level up for our team, that's good. Okay, let's head over this way, and nothing there, so we'll head up here. Yeah, I'm now doing 900 damage with Flare, that's awesome. Oh, magic potion. We're definitely going to need that. Nothing else that's in here, so let's leave these weird dancing-looking mushrooms. And head up here. Man, you can just rake up the experience in here. You're going to need it, too. And the money. We really need the money, too. Okay, let's uh, head up this way. Oh, there's the treasure chest. My bad. Over here. And we get another dark crystal. Very cool. Can make some more armor with that. Okay, a couple more forests for us to explore. And the much needed healing pool. Man, I almost got 300 experience in that fight. That's almost. We're on our way to leveling up, but. Okay, we got some new enemies here. We got the Brain and the Mephisto. Mephisto is, of course, another upgrade of the, the Wizard class, and then the Brain's just holding his, bro his own brain there. Same strategy as usual, just use Flare. Again, Flare's uh, magic damage, so. You can't really have a susceptibility to it, or you can't defend against it. So that's very neat. Okay. Now let's head down to this final forest. The largest of all of them, and it's a little bit different shape. So let's head to follow the path this way. Nothing over to the right, so we're going to want to go to the left. And is it down here, I think? No, sorry, up this way. There it is. Man, I hate when that happens. When one of your characters goes down, ugh, it just drives me nuts. Um, one of the characters used an instant death attack and wiped out Sharon there, which sucks, but that's all right. We'll make do. Should just be a little bit behind in levels, but that's okay. And we get another dark crystal. Now, if I go down this way, I should be able to get... No, where is it? Maybe it is down here. All right. Uh, is it down here? There it is. That's what I'm looking for. And we get the emblem, and that's going to help because that's going to help us make... A very useful weapon later on. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Exit spell. Because I don't feel like trekking all the way back. Okay, now we're gonna head up here. Never be afraid to take a healing up, uh, viewers, in this section if you need it. And Cure B is, you know, it does a lot of healing and it doesn't cost that much to use. So I definitely recommend using it. Okay, uh, now I think it was. This one that had a healing potion in it? Nope, it was that one. We're gonna take one more. We're gonna take one more uh, healing before we go on because I've cast and flare a lot. Okay, we got some new enemies here. We got a serpent and a 105 millimeter. Now the 105 millimeter is susceptible to stone. Stone. So if you want to use that, you can. Ow. But I'm just gonna use flare. And that should take care of both of them. Sweet. Not a whole lot of experience, but that's okay. Oops, don't want the parts. And we'll heal up there. And I've had a really high encounter rate. It's been kind of strange. Okay, now, from here we want to head straight north up from these first two mushrooms. Avoid the black stuff for now because it can cause damage. And we have a cave here. So let's go see what's inside the cave. Okay, now, in this cave, you'll notice some of this black stuff here on the ground. Now, if you walk on it, you lose a little bit of damage, so you want to try and avoid it as much as possible. Okay, first thing you want to do is head up here to the right, and up this way into a little mouth type thing there. Ooh, and it takes us to a new cave, kind of futuristic looking, I think. Okay, let's head up this way. And... Alright, we got a bunch of new enemies here. A set, which is a... we've seen that enemy before. A specter, which is a ghost type, and an evil mask, which can possibly get in two attacks, so you need to be careful of that. But since I have flare, it's not going to really matter. At this point, you know, you know, I'll show you the new enemies just for completion. But if you have flare, it really doesn't matter who you run into. Ooh, a magic potion. That's going to be very helpful. Well, we're, we're going to want to get as many of those as possible. Oops. Another new enemy there, the Icon. That looks kind of looks like it'd be one of the ones that would. Mesh you up, you know? Kind of looks active and 
dangerous. But then I remembered that I had flair, and it really doesn't matter. Alright, good job, team. Okay, through here. And now... One more new enemy, we got the Dragon Fossil. Uh, it's an undead monster, so you can cast life on it, and it'll do some... I think it'll kill it. I'm not sure. The Cure Magic will definitely hurt it. And, um... Yeah, it's just... I believe it's weak to Fire Magic, too. I'm not sure, but... Ow. Man, that's... Just unleashing a bomb there. Now, occasionally, Flare will miss, and that's okay. No worries. Because we have other people that can... Back up with an attack. Nice shot there. Now, since that's an undead monster, the specter, um, the mystic weapons will do double damage on him. So that's why Sharon's attack is so powerful. And we get some level ups. All right. Let's go ahead and get this crystal. Or this chest, anyway, which is a light crystal. Very nice. And we can go through the wall there. Hidden wall. And head over this way and we get... Oh, man, I can't carry that. Okay. Well, we'll leave the Samurai Helm, so we'll get rid of the... Alright, we don't need the X-Plane anymore. And we get the Samurai Helm. This is why we didn't need to purchase one earlier. Um, now, if you go, we're going to want to give this to... I was initially going to give this to Sharon, but I noticed that her defense is already at the max it can be at 99, so there's no point in giving it to her. Same with Gloria, and same with Curtis. Actually, all their defense is at 99, so we're not going to even really need any more armor for the rest of the game. Now, the only time we're going to want to get more armor is to, if it'll boost some of their other stats, and we'll go over that as we go along, so. Okay, we're doing really well here. Keep on going. Back this way. Actually, let me take a second, uh, check, no, wait, that's right. Or we want to head down this way, that's right, okay. And into this hole here. Portal, okay. Let me just take a second, pause break, heal up, check my notes, and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Everything's cool, ready to go. Let's head over this way, and another chest. Man, shoot, camera, oops. Okay, let's see, we're, we're not gonna need the... We're not gonna wait these awake potions, we can get rid of those. And we get the E-Ray, which is the most powerful weapon in the game for the Talon, so that's awesome. Okay, now, you may be wondering, why would we go up here to a dead end? Ha ha ha, it's in fact not a dead end. Another hidden wall, and we get another dark crystal. Awesome. Alright, now let's go ahead and get out of here. Right, let's keep going this way here, and get out of here. Okay, let's head over to the right, continuing to follow the path. And Sharon finally got the level that she needed, so let's head up this way. And there's another chest. And I can't even carry more Cure 3. Well, I'm going to need it to use a Cure 3. I'll use it on Gloria there. Thank you. And we'll head down this way now. And don't be afraid to use a Cure A if you need it. Or a Cure B. And head up here. And another portal. Another hole there. Alright. Let's see what we got here. And over this way. And let's see where it is. There it is. Okay, and this is going to be an important weapon. We're going to want to use it. So, let me get rid of something else real quick. Uh, let's see. What do I need? I don't need that comp potion. And we get the Muramath Sword. Now, this is actually a cursed weapon that we're eventually going to turn into a different weapon. But Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and backtrack to where I came back to get to the entrance of this futuristic cave, and I'll meet you back at the entrance. All right, I made it back. Now we want to head down this way. And over. And we have another little cave here. And that contains a Cure 3 potion, so I'm going to want to use a Cure 3 here, heal up. Alright, excellent. Now, if we head over this way. One more cave. Let's check it out. And we're definitely going to want to make room and pick up the oil. So let's get rid of the shades. And we get the oil, which is going to enable us to make a very powerful shield later on in the game. So, okay, let's keep on going. Now we're going to want to head up this way. And over. Okay, just continuing to follow this. One more cave here. And we get an elixir. Okay, I think this is a good place to stop. Next time, we're going to get ourselves out of this cave and continue on into the underworld. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.